Hi, if I haven't had a chance to meet you yet, I'm Tiffany Stamen, Executive Director of Calvin Crest Conferences. I wanted to fill you in a little bit on the events of this week in case you haven't been following us on Facebook or on social media. On Monday night, January 18th, and into the early morning hours of Tuesday the 19th, a mono wind event ripped through camp with gusts of wind up to 100 miles per hour. As a result, hundreds of trees were brought down on Calvin Crest Road and all throughout our camp. The best news is that no staff were injured. We had seven staff here living on the hill, sleeping or maybe not sleeping so much that night, uh, but no one was injured and we had no trees come down on staff housing, which is a huge, huge blessing. The bad news is, is that we lost hundreds of trees, which as you can imagine, drastically changes our landscape here at camp once again. I know that those of you who know and love Calvin Crest uh, that will find this tough to see when you return. It's been tough to see for all of us who work and love and visit here. We also lost several buildings. We believe the Hill House, Mountain View Lounge, and several cabins will probably be a total loss. And we have other buildings like Cedar Lodge and other cabins that will need a ton of repairs. And we're already working with the insurance company on this. You know, it's funny, last Sunday, I was asking God to give me a word for 2021. And the word that I felt God impressing on my heart was the word thrive. And interestingly, the next morning, Monday morning, I woke up and was spending time um, just meditating on God's word. And I was taken to Psalm 52 verses eight and nine that say, but I am like an olive tree thriving in the house of God. I will always trust in God's unfailing love. I will praise you forever, O God, for what you have done. I will trust you in your good name in the presence of your faithful people. I read that to the staff on Monday morning and this wind event happened Monday night. And since this event happened, I've been clinging to this verse and I have heard God's invitation to us to thrive, to trust, and even to praise his faithfulness and his goodness in the midst of this. And so as challenging as these times are, I am confident, as is the rest of our staff, that God will once again carry us through this just as he has every other challenge over the past couple of years. And I believe he will even bring about many hidden blessings along the way. I've heard from a lot of you asking, how can I help? Well, first of all, you can pray. Pray for our staff who are, have endeared quite a few crises and somewhat traumatic events over the last few years. And they're still living without power here at camp. So pray for the staff, for strength, for resilience, for determination, for grit as we clean up camp. You can also come up and volunteer. Many of you have said, let me know when there's going to be a work party or a weekend work gathering. Well, we're not really going to be organizing special work parties because every day is a work party. So we are going to be about the business of cleaning up these trees, these buildings, and the camp. Um, for the foreseeable future. So if you have a day off or you'd like to come for a weekend when the power is back on, we would love to have you whenever you can come. Those of you that are skilled with chainsaws or you know how to run heavy machinery or if you know how to use a rake and you can help rake debris, we will take you whenever and whatever you can do. So we would love to have you come and partner with our staff as we go about the cleanup efforts that are going to be required for some time. Finally, we invite you to give. Uh, we have about a $10,000 deductible and we'll have other expenses as well. And so if you have the resources and you feel led to support us, you can do that by going online at calvincrest.com, uh, click the donate now button and you can give safely online and we would just be so honored to partner with you. We thank you for your prayers, for your support, for your love, for your words of encouragement, for those of you that have already shown up and helped clear the road, we are so grateful. And we are trusting, as always, 
that God has great things in store for Calvin Crest. Thank you so much.